turquoise fountain pen. I really like this pen. I really like the way it looks. I think it has a really nice color scheme with the turquoise and it's kind of a, like a brown khaki color mixed together. And another cool thing about this resin and the colors is that I don't know if you could tell the material is somewhat transparent which is kind of gives it a little depth. I also really like the chrome trim. It looks really nice with these colors. And the pen overall has just been a great writing experience. And let me show you why. Conklin stopped using the old nibs that they've been using. And now they're starting to install Yovo stainless steel nibs with their pens. So I'm really happy that Conklin has made this leap and made this change because no longer have I experienced using the Yovo nibs with my Conklin pens any hard starts, no skipping, no baby's bottom when they've arrived. Um, but now I have got a good looking pen with a great performing nib. Another thing about Conklin pens, especially if you're not familiar with the brand, is that they always come with a converter. So you don't have to buy your converter separately like you gotta do with some other brands, which I find that to be very convenient. A lot of brands, what they, you know, they do, they always send um, a nice little cartridge so you can start writing with your pen right away. And I don't mind that. I just prefer to be able to tailor the color of my ink, well, pretty much to the color of my pen. So maybe that makes me a weirdo, but I do like to color coordinate with my pen. But I, I really enjoy this pen. It's a nice big pen. It's got a nice big size. Feels really good in the hand, especially if you really like large pens. The All American does post. It's really good looking when it's posted too. Feels really good in the hand. It is big, but it's not so big to the point where it's super uncomfortable to write with. I still find this pen to be really comfortable to write with. It feels really nice. Another thing is I was, the first time I ever got a Conklin All-American, I was concerned about that step where the section and the threads and the barrel meet right here. And I have to say that when I'm riding with it, I don't feel it at all. But I'm really happy with what Conklin is doing with their pens. I, I really like the way they feel. I like the way they write. They look great. I like that this is a throwback, another American heritage brand that's a throwback to the past. Because um, I don't know about you guys, but I really find that history attached with fountain pens and heritage is kind of important. And I think it's really cool to use a pen that has a lot of history with it, like Conklin. Next, I'm gonna use the Conklin All-American, make a writing sample, and that way you can check it out for yourselves maybe later on.
Well, thanks so much for watching. I don't, I still don't have a witty way to end these videos, uh, except for I could give you another quote from a favorite artist of mine whose career was established here in Paris. And that would be from the artist Edward Manet. And Edward Benet once said that there's only one true thing, instantly paint what you see. And I guess as far as fountain pen users are concerned, maybe that should be something of encouragement for us to write about what we see. All right, well until next time, thanks for watching and take care. Je cherche un homme.